Okay. I'm uh, going to work on this Kawasaki Katsuki. Uh, when we had to meet up. Mike was, Mike, muzzle Mike, nice enough to set the timing chain for me while I was at work. Then uh, told me, he said, it's either the hose on. It's on there somewhere. Said it's either right or it's out 580 degrees. So I finished putting the uh, tightening everything down, buttoned it up. Then uh, Then I went ahead and tried to fire it up and evidently it is out 540 degrees. So I thought, well, you guys probably want to watch me do this, I suppose. So what I did already, I just removed the uh, gas tank. And the next thing I'm going to remove will be the uh, coils. So, I guess you guys wanted to like this kind of stuff, watching a guy sweat his butt off out in the heat. Boy, it is 90 some degrees today and it is hot. I mean hot. But, I don't have a video to put up. So I thought, well, I want to see if I might be able to get this cow out of my garage. I thought I was going to go ahead and go ahead and work on it about a half hour every night maybe just to uh, get some stuff done on it slowly I'm in no big hurry but I'd like to get it done a little bit at a time if it's going to stay hot like this I don't even care okay they want a spacer actually they want two spacers There's one coil undone. We'll hang it up here out of the way. And find my spacer right there. And I wonder where the other one's kind enough to drop to. Last time we dropped the spacer right into the stupid sparky plug hole. Yeah, we'll see it. We'll find it. Okay, get this other coil off. Yep, it's so hot today. I work at uh, a place where I'm in a cooler where they keep everything cool. And it is so hot today. There's our other coil. It's off. It's so hot today that the cooler actually started heating up. I mean, crazy. Wow, it's that hot the cooler heats up. I had to actually take my coat off today working out there. Oh well. Okay. We got the tank off the coils off. Next thing we want to do is remove all these uh, 
hoses from the radiator. We got a few of them to remove. Which usually doesn't take too long, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not in there stinking hurry out in this heat. There's one off. All right. Uh, this is a vacuum hose here. It had a tear in it. I put some, uh, uh, whatever. I put some super glue on it, and it's it's held together pretty good. That's all right. One of the things I want to do here is get uh, some shelving on the wall. Place to put all this stuff. I got tools and everything else laying around. I'd rather have them on a pegboard marked out. That way I can take one glance and see what's missing. Okay, that's a uh, little hose off the radiator. So that's one side actually. We got the same thing on the other side. We'll have to remove all it. But we'll get her. Stuff here in the way. Oh, I suppose now you guys can't see me. I'm probably out of the camera shot. So all you're doing is sitting there looking at a motor. And in case any of you don't know, this is a uh, 454 Kawasaki engine. It's one of them limited editions, which I think uh, two Kawasaki. There's another vacuum hose. Kawasaki Limited Edition. I believe also means uh, lemon, lemon edition. Okay, let's see where this hose runs to. Get it off. Comes off the carbs. There we go, vacuum off. And one more to unscrew here for the radiator. And there it's off. Okay. Next thing you got to do. Next thing you got to do is this. Uh, oh, man, I got to find my wrenches. I hate having my wrenches. That's probably the worst thing about doing stuff. You're looking for the stinking tools when you want them. Oh well, well, we'll have that, I guess. We'll have that. Got a few broken sockets here. They broke. I'll have to replace them. Well, I don't see my uh, little ratchet I need. Covers. Huh. I don't find my ratchet. We may just have to end the film today. Now. Let's 
Yeah, that's why I know. Okay, I looked all the way around the bike on the uh, table that it's on and don't seem to be able to find my little ratchet. So rather than bore you to death even longer, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off see if I can find it. I'll be right back. Okay, I looked about 15-20 minutes looking all over from a ratchet. I got a little ratchet, a nice little set that I use for the motor. It is a nice little convenient thing to work with. And I've looked probably about 15 or 20 minutes now and I'm kind of still looking. I don't see it anywhere. Things have gotten seriously misplaced. They're around somewhere, I don't know. So, I'm going to quit for the day. Seems awful early to do that, but I get, <coughs> can't find my tools. And uh, I'll just run up and buy me a new set, new ratchet and stuff. It'll fit in a box neatly. And if I happen to find the other ones, I guess I got two sets. So, because I need different size wrenches, I ain't got. Their bunch of wrenches are gone too, somewhere. In this mess, it's hard to say. So I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys. And maybe tomorrow I'll have some new tools and we'll do some more work on this here ka 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 Osaki. And we'll just catch you later, okay? So you guys have a good day and thanks for watching.